Hi, I'm Jerry Monaghan, founder of Second Wind Air Purifiers. Our mission is to create a better quality of life for our customers in the community by providing innovative air purification products that exceed our customers' expectations. We are focused on providing professional services in a dedicated, efficient, and caring manner that will be profitable to the customer and our company by working together as a team. State-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Alexander Haig. Air quality has become a vital issue in many environmental forums. We see the evidence of outdoor pollution in many major cities, but often neglect the importance of safe, clean, indoor air. Here for this discussion is Patrick Monaghan, president of Second Wind Air Purifier. Welcome, Patrick. We're delighted to have you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, also joining us is Jerry Monaghan, founder of Second Wind Air Purifier. Welcome, Jerry. We're delighted to have you. Thank you. All the pleasure is mine. Now, also joining us as our industry expert is Dr. Richard Moss, professor of environmental science at the University of North Carolina at Asheville. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Moss. We're always pleased to have you. Thank you, Al. It's great to be back here. Now, why should we be concerned about indoor air quality? Al, most people don't understand just how serious the problem of indoor air pollutants are. We're largely focused on our outdoor air pollution, but in terms of actual public health hazard, literally tens of millions of people are suffering health effects from various indoor air pollutants, uh, ranging from chemical sensitivities uh, to reactions with, with uh, mold. And uh, these can be very serious and often go unnoticed. Very good. Now your turn, Jerry. Uh, we all know that outdoor air can enter a home or business uh, through a window. But how about when the windows are shut or don't open at all? Well, mechanically, indoor air is exchanged through what's called a, an air-to-air -air exchanger, bringing in fresh air from the outside. And also, the cracks and crevices, opening a window occasionally or opening a door occasionally, gives the introduction of outside air internally. Very good. Now for more, let's go to this World Business Review field report. Air pollution can be hazardous to your health, but it's not just the air outside. The air you breathe indoors can hurt you as well. Mold, bacteria, viruses, dust, and other harmful particles are common in the home and workplace. Second wind air purifiers were designed to help make every breath fresh. The Center for Disease Controls has taken the indoor air quality problems and broken them up into three categories. Particulates, bioaerosols, and volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Our purifiers address all three of those categories. Purifiers like these use ultraviolet or UV light to remove particles from the air. Filtration lamps are designed to maximize the sterilization process using specific intensities and wavelengths of UV light. Second Wind's photocatalytic process uses high intensity ultraviolet germicidal light and a high re highly reactive catalyst surface area, in our case, which is titanium dioxide. It works kind of like a sponge absorbing water in that as air contamination goes through your heating and air conditioning system, the air passes across the catalyst and is absorbed are reducing odors and off gases in your indoor air. UV filtration can be the first step to improving indoor air quality. But innovative companies have not stopped there. A new technology uses titanium to boost the effects of UV light. For those who suffer from asthma, allergies, and other respiratory problems, air purifiers can offer relief. For everyone else, a good air purifier may prevent health complications in the future. For World Business, this is Mark Streeter, Repeater Reporting. Now, Patrick, how do you identify air quality problems in a home or a business? For the most part, they really identify themselves in that consumers or business owners will find that they have people working for them or people living in a home uh, will have an allergic reaction or they'll smell a certain odor or an off gas that they didn't notice before. Mm -hmm. uh, that's primarily the way. Or you can 